Look at all this. This is called happiness. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a different kind of video, um, which I want to talk about the games that bring me a lot of joy. They bring me joy whenever I'm feeling down or depressed, so, which is a lot, by the way. But uh, yeah, these games really help me with that. And yeah, let's get started. First one I want to start with is Pictionary. So Pictionary is a game which is not a good game, but the music is absolutely amazing. That, you know, it's, I like it. That's why it brings me joy because of the music. The music really holds this game together, to be honest with you. So yeah, I really do like this game because of that. And uh, yeah, this brings me a lot of joy somehow. Okay, Left 4 Dead 2. This game brings me so much joy that you don't even understand how much joy it brings. Oh, look at this manual. Pretty good manual. But yeah, this is in pretty dang good condition. So uh, yeah, I got this. I don't know when actually, but I got this. I think this is my original copy. So uh, yeah, but here's the manual and all that. Anyway, there's a, that, that, that. Left 4 Dead 2 is a pretty dang good manual. I mean, it's in color and all that, so that's good. It's in color, so that's good. But why does this game bring me joy? Because it's Valve, man. Valve brings me so much joy. This is one of my favorite gaming companies ever, other than Nintendo, which is second. But Valve is my favorite video game company back in the day because this game was absolutely amazing. I played multiplayer a lot with my friends. I played this with a lot of my friends and I played this all by myself just to beat the game and I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, that's that's why this is in my list of games that bring me joy. New friends, more zombies, better apocalypse. Exactly. Uh, there's blood and gore, intensive violence and language. But yeah. Oh yeah. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, this game is not really that old, but listen, this bring me this still brings me joy to be honest with you. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is one of the games that I really love a lot. This is my favorite Nintendo Switch game, other than Clubhouse Games, 51 World Wide Classics. But this is my favorite Nintendo Switch game that I play a lot. Uh, this game is my favorite Nintendo Switch game because Listen, the multiplayer is amazing, the tracks are amazing, and the DLC bring bring everyone together and just, I don't know, I really love this game. But I remember a distinct memory of mine, me and my friends just playing Mario Kart. This is a very hot take, but Wipeout 3 is one of them. Wipeout 3 is one of the games that brings me joy. Mostly because of nostalgia, but also because it's an actual good game. I played this with my family back in the day, and it's just so amazing that everyone was brought together and playing this. I really, really love this game. I don't even understand why, but hey, there's a manual and it's in black and white, which is bad. Uh, but yeah, there's Wipeout 3 and we, this, but this is, this is my favorite Wipeout out of all of them. Even this console platform, this is the best version of Wipeout 3 and the best Wipeout game. So I really enjoy this game a lot uh, because of memories and because of it's an actual good game. I don't understand why you guys hate it so much. Another hot take is Mario the Luigi Dream Team. I played this back in the day and I, I haven't played this in a while, to be fair with you. I don't have the manual, damn. But uh, yeah, this game, this is the original cartridge I have for it and all that. I, and this is the original copy. So Mario Luigi Dream Team is one of my favorite Mario Luigi games, I hope, because this new game looks amazing. So I really love this game. But Mario Luigi Dream Team is my favorite Mario Luigi game. Uh, I think Bowser's Inside Story is good, but it's just the problem is, it's just, just it slogs on too long. This game just got straight to the point in my opinion. I know it didn't for some of you because of the tutorial. I didn't really mind the tutorials, that's just me. So I really loved this game. And my favorite, my favorite stuff was the dream stuff. And I, I really love this game, I'm sorry. This is one of, one of the best Mario and Luigi games. But Mario and Luigi Dream Team, great game, love it. And all that and I remember playing these on car rides uh, from my dad's 
uh, trips or whatever. It's nostalgic, man, okay? So, yeah. All right, next up is Sonic the Hedgehog 4 because Sonic the Hedgehog 4 is one of my favorite Sonic games. I don't have Sonic 4 did physically because it didn't come out physically. So I'm just using Sonic 1 as it. But uh, Sonic 4 is one of my favorite games of all time, to be honest with you. I really love Sonic. Sonic 4 is not my favorite game of all time, but I this is Sonic 4 is one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. So Sonic 4, I know people hate this game to death, but the music, the courses, I, I just have a lot of nostalgia and I just really love this game for what it is. I don't love Sonic 1. This uh, I'm using Sonic 1 as a placeholder for Sonic 4. But Sonic 4 is damn good. My favorite one is Sonic 4 Episode 2, because Sonic 4 Episode 1 is okay. But Sonic 4 Episode 2 is my favorite, one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. We're reaching the final three. And uh, the third one is Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. Specifically this version, because I remember this version. I love this version. Uh, do I have the manual? Nope, I do not. But uh, I do have the original disc and all that. Yeah. Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition is one of the best games. Uh, one of the best versions of Minecraft ever. Yeah, it may not have the infinite possibilities. But it has the tutorial world. The maps. The... Just so much. It had the, limita it had the limitations of being great. And that's why I love this game. This is one of the best versions of Minecraft. This is the best version of Minecraft in my opinion. Whoa, hot take there. Second to last one is the orange box because you know, it's Valve and I've talked about Valve, but specifically Portal. Portal is my favorite game of all time. Unless you don't count Portal 2. We'll get to that in a second. Portal is my, is, is one of my favorite games of all time. It's, it's, I've talked about Portal at length many a times. Portal 1 is just so good. This brings me so much joy. Uh, I remember playing this. I remember playing, well, I'll talk about the orange box in a minute, but Portal 1 is just so good. I remember beating it one. I remember beating it and screaming, Mom, I beat it. This is just a great game, okay? And then the orange box has two more games. Half-Life Episode 2 and Team Fortress 2. That's a steal. Team Fortress 2, I remember playing online a lot with a lot of trauma with that because of uh, a 40 year old man screaming at me, but that's about it. I love this game, okay? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. The final one I'm sure you can guess is Portal 2. I love this game. I know it's a bit bad, but this is the only copy I have of Portal 2. I'm sorry, but come on. Like, I love, love this game. Portal 2 is my favorite game of all time. Why is that? Because memories, nostalgia, and just the game itself is the best thing ever. I have beaten this game several fucking times, but I don't care. Back to my childhood, I remember playing this game whenever I was sick with the flu. And this game got me through that shit, man. It got me through it. And now, it's just got me through so much more depression-wise and friend-wise because I played this with my friends. Oh yeah, you can play this with friends because it's co-op. So, Portal 2, thank you for being my friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was kind of a somber video for this week, so uh, yeah. And as always, have a nice day. Bye.